Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Focus Friday. Uh, I don't have any birthdays, notifications for today. Uh, but however, I do have one on tomorrow. And I don't uh, do, usually do videos on Saturday. So I'm going to go ahead and wish uh, that individual a happy birthday today. And that happened to be Claude Nichols. His birthday is on tomorrow, February 18th. And uh, Claude, I wish you uh, a very happy birthday. Enjoy your special day on tomorrow with many more to come. God bless you. And with that being done, we're going to move on to uh, Focus Friday. <coughs> Today's theme is, is grace and mercy enough to get to heaven? Hmm. Grace is defined as unmerited favor from God towards man. Mercy is the compassion that he showed instead of punishment for a man's wrongful deeds. So, is this a free get-out-of-jail card? Well, Romans, the 12th chapter, verse 1 and 2, gives you the answer to that question. And it reads, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your, your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable, unto God, which is your reasonable service. Verse 2 goes on to say, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So that's your answer there. No, we don't have a free, get out of free, get out of jail free card because of grace and mercy. No, we do not. Even though it was a free gift to us, it was to save us and to show that God truly loved us in order to give us another opportunity to get back into his realms. That is what he created us to do and to be before we, the fall of man, in other words. So, so no, in answer, no, that's not all of it. It's something that we got to do. It's free. Of course, the gift is free. It's given. It's given. But that grace that was given was Jesus Christ when he gave of himself to redeem us and it was free to all the whole world and that mercy is giving us an opportunity to, to accept the grace that God gave us to be, become regenerated become born again to renew our minds give us a clean heart to do that what he intended for us to do. Now, he created us and put us in a place when he created us. He created us to dwell and worship him for all of his glory and all of his splendor in paradise and to live harmoniously and dwell with each other in paradise. But because of that fall, that was not possible anymore. But in in the future and in the in the etern in eternity, we have a chance to go back to what he originally planned for us. But there is something that we gotta do. Even though the offer is there, we gotta accept it. We gotta accept it. We got to accept the offer 
And that offer, and how we accept that offer is that we become obedient unto Him. And the way to do that is, is to let grace abide in us. That's the Spirit of the, the Lord. The Holy Spirit. It is the way that we're going to have to do that. And we will be able to be in harmony with each other. To love each other. Do each other right. Not to be envious or whatever. And have our own main agenda. Love towards one another. Extend. Yes. That's what he intended for us. And with that being said, you all, I bid you a very good weekend this weekend. I love you. God bless you. And be safe until next time.